Hi guys, it's Frankie from Frankie Tech. Good to see you guys again. And today I'm here with a very interesting video to address potential throttling concerns, CPU throttling on this Redmi 10X. Now yesterday, I noticed a number of different comments from you guys saying, Frankie Tech, we saw this video that claimed after two runs of Antutu, after a 10 minute break, that this Redmi 10X 5G started seriously throttling down because of the high temperatures. And it went from around a 390 or 400 Hundred thousand scores that we normally see down into the 200 range. I was pretty surprised to see so many comments about this and typically I've been the one who's been actually against MediaTek with overheating but this Dimensity 820 chipset has been terrific in my experience. So I wanted to put this to the test myself. Yesterday I ran four Antutu tests in a row, no breaks in between and I still managed to get very similar scores to the ones you see right here. So what gives? Does this Dimensity 820 actually start throttling and is it going to have really low 200,000 like scores if I run this test four times in a row without any breaks? Well it's time to put this phone to the test so here begins my CPU throttling test on Antutu with the Redmi 10X 5G. And so just to make sure you guys see here that there's no doctoring of this video, I bring in a clock. I'm also going to be measuring, I'm also going to be keeping a stopwatch here with the OnePlus 8 Pro and we can see battery life is at around 79%. So we can also gauge how long it takes to do this test, but then also how much battery is consumed doing four and two two tests continuously on the Redmi 10X 5G. So I'm going to run the test and then basically just check the score in between each test and we'll speed up obviously the test so that we can get through this a little bit faster. So let's get started in three, two, one, go. I'm going to put that okay sideways and mentioning right now I'm also running this on 5G just like I did yesterday. So we have very similar conditions to how we did this test yesterday. Okay, so the first test is done, 398,000. So that's the first test here. And let me do a quick screenshot of this, just so we have it. But let's not waste any more time. Let's go ahead and test again. Here we go, one, two, three. Okay, and we're done with the second test, and there is the score, 398,000. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and just do another, hold on, there we go, another screenshot, and back to it. Let's do it the third time. Here we go. Okay, and here is the third result, guys, 398,000. I mean, <laughs> it's pretty incredible. Okay, let's go ahead and do another screenshot here for the record, and let's do the fourth and final test here on N22. Let's go. And there we go guys, that is it with test number four with a final result of 397,000. Now let's look at the battery life there, 62 so I think we started at 79 if I'm not mistaken and so we did drop quite a bit four and two two tests in a row here in the room that is pretty intense but I think the main point here is if we look at all these four results is there throttling happening on this Redmi 10X 5G 
Absolutely not. The reality is, guys, I wanted to do this test. I'd done it yesterday, but a lot of you mentioned you wanted to see this in video format, and so I hope this finally puts to rest this idea that the Redmi 10X and the Redmi 10X Pro 5G are throttling using the Dimensity 820 chipset. But hit me up in the comments. What do you think of this test? And do you actually now understand that, uh, you know, you see a video talking about this sensationalist kind of thing that you always have to check your sources and you always have to look for a second opinion. And you know what? I'm not trying to cause any beef here with some other channels. I just wanted to share with you guys the experience that I had yesterday when I did this test. And now we have a video format to share. And go ahead and share this video if you want with whoever is claiming that, you know, the Dimensity 820 is actually throttling here with zero breaks between four tests. Those are the results we got in the end. So that's it for this video. If you liked it, give me that thumbs up. And if you love the content of Frankie Tech, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for future updates. Guys, and I gotta wrap up this test very quick. Get this up and uploaded because the Redmi 10X Pro is waiting for me at the store. So I'm gonna put this one up and then run over to the store and pick it up. Stay tuned for the Street Tech first look on Frankie Tech. So that's it, and this is where I leave you by saying, this is Frankie Tech signing off. Have a good one.